Hola, my loves. It's Knowledge Butterfly. I'm back for uh, another uh, episode of <laughs> another episode of Growing and Glowing. All right. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the moon cycle. So, um, of course, as always, I want to send you guys out peace, blessings, love, and abundance out into the ether, out into the into the to the universe, out into your universes. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and jump into it as I always do. But of course, I want to send you out that love now. So, um, what you may not know is the moon has eight cycles or phases um, each month, whatever you want to call it. The number eight uh, represents infinity. So, the phases mirror the infinite cycles of birth, death, which is actually transition into another form or transition to a formless um, energy. And also reincarnation of the spiritual and physical experience. So, you can think about it that way. And that's what the number eight, if you turn it um, horizontal, it actually becomes the infinity sign. And here comes Piccolo. As soon as I start talking and he hears my voice, here he comes. Hey, Piccolo. So um, each phase of the moon asks us to tap into a certain aspect of ourselves. Um, it's asking for us to actually grow, to make some changes, um, things that are not quite working. We need to kind of just go ahead and, and change that and try a different route and also to purge things that no longer are beneficial to our soul. So the first cycle of the moon, hey Piccolo, I'll calm down, sweetie. Okay, the first cycle of the moon is the new moon. Um, this is when the moon is between the earth and the sun, so it's not actually visible on earth. This is the darkness, and the darkness represents the beginning. So think of being inside of the womb, being in your mother. That's literally being in the darkness. And as I say, um, I have said in other videos, also, we are in a cosmic egg because our auric field or subtle energies, whatever you want to call that, is a cosmic egg. And it is our... Um, it is our protection in this uh, ether, in this in this earth, and also it is our protection from just you know things that could, could harm our our physical and spiritual being. Okay, so just like your mother being in her womb is protecting you as you are as you're growing. So as we're growing on this earth, the cosmic um, egg is protecting us and keeping us from from you know harm. It is us who actually allows the the bad or the non-beneficial energies and negative energies to come in and penetrate our auric field because some of us you know a lot of times we don't do the work in order to keep um that health and that was me going on a whole nother thing about you know being being mindful and being aware that you have your auric field and that we do have to do work on keeping it protected it's like our ozone layer keeping it from you know allowing any negative energy or energy that could take us off course to penetrate our auric field but anywho, i'm going to get off of that because that's a whole nother video so any so now going back to the new moon the new moon is when we actually plant our seed um in the ground and that represents us um starting something new it's a new beginning that's why the new moon signifies new beginnings and um during that time we set our intentions so think about it as a relation as um in the physical sense, we actually, you know, plant our seed in the ground, we're growing trees or we're growing fruits or whatever it may be, or a man planting his seed inside of a woman in her womb, okay? So, um, at this phase, the moon's energy builds its strength and its intensity during that time. That's why we plant our seed as well during that time. Um, this is why we should set clear intentions and goals and also start new projects or formulate new ideas. This is the perfect time to start something new. So if, um, and also to come up with new ideas. So that's why you set your intentions, you do a new moon ritual or whatever, in order to put that, put, um, to, um, to take advantage of that energy. Okay. That's why you do certain things during certain times, during certain phases of the moon, because it's more beneficial for you to do that particular action. All right. Now, the second cycle of the moon is called waxing crescent. When the waxing crescent, when that time comes, that's when actually um, I notice that you start to see the moon in the in the sky. You start seeing the moon during the um, evening time of the sky. It's either between it's between waxing crescent and first quarter. You'll see it in the, in the afternoon. So at this phase, um, this is the phase right after the new moon, and this is when uh, the illuminated portion of the moon begins to increase um, less, but only begins to increase but only less than a half 
of what it is. So the crescent moon is liter literally right before the quarter moon. You, st you can actually just see an illuminated portion of the moon. All right. So as it um, the illumination gets bigger and bigger and it starts to build up um, in strength and intens intensity, this signifies the sprouting growth of the seed that you planted. So the pl seed you plant during new moon, this is the, the signifier that that seed is starting to grow, you know, that is growing on, on, on fertile soil. OK, so at this stage, there is that's where you have your visible proof of the growth of your seed, your intentions that you planted or whatever work that, um, that you planted for your new beginning. All right. Um, there is also um, a rush of energy that can be utilized to increase this phase. So at this point, you can um, identify your focal point for your growth. So you planted your, your seed during new moon. At this point, you want to kind of like hone in on uh, what in particular you want to start working on. So it's getting more into the details instead of the broad, um, the broad or the general um, theme that you planted during your new moon. Now you're actually getting into like the details of it. What what steps are you going to take in order to? Not saying that you have to 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 motivate or or, or physically do a whole bunch of things. However, there are some physical things that go into making your dreams manifest. So this is focally. Um, this is honing in on the focal point or honing in on what you need to do during this time. So this could be you need to um, focus more on meditation because the um, meditation is actually what keeps you centered and it keeps you from overthinking the intentions that you set and knowing that the universe will give you everything that you desire as long as you keep your emotions and everything centered and um, at a higher vibration and frequency. So this could be focusing on what you need to do some things that you probably need to uh, start making a list of things you need to purge because, you know, during the full moon is when you're doing your purging. So you can start honing in on some things that you might want to let go of and some things that you might want to keep in order to help you with um, achieving this goal. Okay. So um, also during the waxing crescent, um, the time, which is, um, it's, like I said, the time between the new and the full moon, this is the opportune time for you to be positive and motivated and take action. So this is a time of energy expansion that supports new ideas and even the meeting of new people in your life, the people that could aid in achieving your goals. So this is also a time where you might need to work on um, being more in tune with your intuition. So you can allow your intuition to guide you to certain people that are going to, to um, assist you in achieving the goals that you set out during your new moon, okay? Um, and also, like I said, um, keeping a positive attitude about it. So you're meditating, which quiets your mind, and your positive affirmations as well, which is a, um, a great tool, which I really just started getting into more um, over the course of a month because, you know, I had heard of positive affirmations. I've seen people do it, but I just hear people saying it, saying it and I knew there was more behind it, which I talked about in my videos about positive affirmations, how it has to do with your emotions and not necessarily the words that are coming out of your mouth all right so now that'll be in the whole that'll be getting into a video but you can check out my positive affirmations video i think it's prosperity programming or prosperity um affirmations video now the third cycle of the moon is the first quarter moon and the first quarter moon is actually today um on tuesday and um another thing with each of these cycles of the moon Whatever day that they fall on, whatever day of the week, that energy also has a play in um, or an influence on that cycle. So like today is Tuesday or Mars Day that has an influence on this cycle because we know that Mars is a more aggressive planet. And I'm actually going to do a video about the seven days of the week and how the chakras relate to those seven days of the week. And this is actually my perspective. This is my in this is my intuitive download or intuitive information. So you know, when I do that video, some people, you know, you can Google online and you'll hear other other ways that people, you know, see it. However, this is the way that I see it. OK, this is the way that I feel it, I should say. So anywho, I'm going to keep going with the moon cycles. <laughs> so first quarter moon, also known as the half moon. Um, this is because it is um, it is illuminated one half and is increasing. Now, the um, planet seeds. um the planet seeds roots are becoming firmly planted in the soil and the plant structure is starting to grow. 
so the roots of the plant are secure and you're seeing a, there's a structure now to our seed to what we plant to our intentions so that structure is actually starting to grow and it's becoming more firm more firm now this phase symbolizes a period of strength determination focus decision making or reevaluation and commitment to action meaning this is a time that you kind of like reevaluate and make sure that you are doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing during this time maybe you need to kind of change your approach to the the idea that you had or um maybe you need to um commit like solidly commit to what you are working to achieve and so whatever that commitment could look like it could be um that you need to if you're doing a youtube channel you need to commit to staying focused on um making sure that you are are uploading content and not allowing um your mind to come in and try to to play on you and, and or maybe doubt to come in and say maybe you shouldn't do this video because this could hurt people's feelings and and as long as you're doing it from a, a point of inspiration and your higher self you know that it's a message that you need to express to people for instance this eight cycles of the moon i've known for almost a month that i wanted to talk on this however i'm just now really getting into it so it's, it's me working on during this first quarter moon being more committed to doing the videos when i feel a need to do the video so when it comes to me know that i need to go ahead and start it but also working within those cycles of the moon if you if you work with the cycles of the moon you're actually going with the flow versus going you know against the flow which is resisting it so when you're actually doing things in the in the order of the moon cycles it does make it easier for it to flow as well so i also could could have been the idea could have came during a time where it wasn't meant to flow or a day that i wasn't supposed to flow on it but i was supposed to use it for another another time but whatever i'm doing it now so i'm gonna keep going um now so during this time it is vital to not let any fears to let any doubts or any um like negative emotions get in the way of your manifestation okay this is a time you can transmute the negative emotional energy by turning it into creative to, to uh creative energy or creative passion to complete your task and finish your goals so um or by creating something of an artistic nature so it could be if you are into music it could be the time that you are creating some type of song or you can be doing a painting to let those emotions out or you can draw or you can sew something so whatever your your artistic flavor is you can utilize this time of the first quarter to let those emotions out so if you're starting to feel like anxious like okay because during this time because it's in in the you're almost to full moon some people can start to feel anxious or like um a little bit of anxiety about the fact that your seed is almost uh, almost there your or your the intention you set your goals that you set that it's almost time for you to reap the benefits of that so some people can kind of almost feel a little bit antsy about it so that's a this is a good time for you to have another creative outlet in order to express yourself so yeah just may, remain focused and don't allow anything to detour you from your goal no detours all right now the fourth cycle is called um, waxing gibbous now at this phase um, this is of course after the first quarter moon and um, this is when the illuminated portion has increased to more than half so the first quarter moon is the halfway mark all right so that's a halfway mark to your goal the waxing gibbous is literally almost there i like to say almost there my tiana from princess and the frog my one of my favorite actually probably my favorite disney movie besides the lion king but um yeah so this is the time where the moon is almost illuminated almost fully illuminated and at this phase the buds are preparing to bloom so you might see like um you'll see like think of a flower where you see like the buds the flower has an open all the way up so it's not in full bloom so it's just a bud on 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 the um, plant structure that's what the wax and give us phase is so this is the stage where your ideas and plants can be cultivated and refined before the next day so before you know full moon comes you can make any last minute adjustments um 
to your plan is um, also represents gaining and attaining and it can be applied to what you wish to gain and develop such as you wishing to gain friends wealth skills wealth or skills um, this is a time for uh, to ensure you are affirming your attentions through positive affirmations creative visualization through meditation so during that time this is a time for you to really like you know um, maximize and increase um, the power of the um, intentions that you set during the new moon because you are literally at the brink um, at the brink of what you have been waiting on all right I hear you piccolo I'm almost done with the video he's so aggressive and this is it's Tuesday too so that Mars energy is in, in play yeah it is now so the fifth cycle is full moon very soon cutie very soon it's full moon now at this phase the moon, the earth, and the sun are aligned just like in the new moon, except for the moon is on the other side of the earth, which is directly opposite the sun. That is why it is visible. Now, um, at this portion, the um, which allows for the entire moon to be illuminated and seen on earth and, you know, in all its fullness and roundness and all its glory. Okay, so the seed is at full bloom and uh, has fully blossomed and the buds are now flowers. This represents fertility, transformation, completion, and abundance. All right? This is the period where you reap what you have um, sown, sown. I was about to say shown. You reap what you have sown in the new moon. This is also the period um, that uh, starts the waning because there is diminishing energy. So it starts the waning period as well. This is an ideal time to let go of any. That's why this is an ideal time to let go of anything that doesn't support your higher purpose um things that you want to let go of or release or end this is the time that you do that so even though it's that full blossom at this time and you have reaped what you sown this is also the time that you um are going into the waning period when the moon starts waning and when the moon starts waning this is the time to relinquish things that no longer serve you and this is the time that we do a lot of uh we do our full moon rituals where whether we are um, writing down the things that we want to release on a, a piece of paper and then burning it in fire to release that out, that energy out. Or um, we're taking a bath, a cleansing bath uh, with Epsom salt, lavender, um, having, um, utilizing sage, uh, and just other things to cleanse our energetic um, bodies as well as our physical bodies. So um, yeah, so this is a time to do that, to release things. It's also the time to let go of any relationships that are no longer beneficial, a job that's no longer beneficial, thoughts that are not serving a higher purpose for you, any, and to transmute some emotions that are causing for you to causing for you to be stagnant in certain areas or blocking doors um, to, to, to new opportunities. So this is a time for a spiritual transmutation of that energy. Um, that no longer serves your higher um, your higher self and your divine purpose. This is a time, uh, this time can be used to seek guidance and foster healing and perform ritual magic, as I said, okay? So and by, I say seeking guidance, your guidance could be through, like I said, meditating and connecting to your higher self. And that's really the best guidance you can get is connecting to higher self. Everything else, like myself and anybody else you may listen to, we're all here just to confirm things. We're here to to aid you in your journey as we're aiding ourselves in our journey. Because people like me who are Sagittarius um, and being ruled or governed by Jupiter, which is a planet of philosophy and, and higher learning and, and ideolo ideology and spirituality um, are normally really, you know, really... Um, are really honed into our skills of teaching and 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 higher philosophy and um, just communicating those things and rallying the troops type of thing. So I'm just using my my natural born gifts, my my what I like to call star power, to communicate these things to you. So. I can be seen as guidance as well as anybody else you listen to. However, there is no higher guidance than your than yourself, than your higher self. There is there is nothing more that can give you more clarity in your life than your higher self. All right. Just use everything else is just a tool in order to help you get there as well. Now, the sixth cycle. 
is waning gibbous. Now, this is after the full um, moon illumination. Um, the light gradually starts to decrease. So now the light has actually started to, you know, um, went from full moon. Now it's decreasing and it's going back so that only parts of the moon is illuminated. And then there are parts of it that is not illuminated. So that's the darkness coming back, all right? Um, during this time, the moon is more than one half, but not fully illuminated. And it's continuing to de decrease. So as the moon appears to be getting smaller, it is a good time to focus on getting rid of bad habits, stresses, or negative thinking. So I, it seems like during each cycle, you're always working on purging something, but that's because we are always um, we are always working to raise our vibrations and to let go of things that are weighing us down. You wouldn't want to hold on to any, like, that's like um, putting on, like, layers and layers and layers of clothing you need to shed you know it's, it's like the it's like going from winter to summer think of it that way so winter you have on layers and layers and layers of, of clothing to keep yourself warm however what you know when the summertime comes back in first it's spring you start to shed a layer and then when the summertime comes in you know you're pretty much walking around with more skin showing because you sh shed so many different layers think about it that way or think about it as a snake or like the gecko because i actually when i house and pets it there's also a gecko and he sheds his 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 layer of, of skin and just think about it that way you're shedding you're always shedding something so you're always shedding a layer of skin something that's no longer necessary and that's no longer needed because your vibration has raised so your vibration is telling you every time you raise your vibration it's giving is telling you okay now you need to let go of this raise it again now you need to let go of that think about it that way all right um where was i so yeah talking about waning gibbous uh so this is also known as um this dissemination moon um, which brings about energy for better communication, revelation, and completion. Um, this is putting action to the things you released on full moon through meditation and positive affirmations. Now, also knowing that this is a time for better communication, this is also a time that you can utilize to communicate um, things that you're releasing. So if you have relationships that um, that you want to make better, so, and so you could do that through communicating to a person why you feel a way you feel about things and, and being more vocal about... Um, the way you feel your emotions now the seventh cycle is your third is the third quarter moon in this phase it is another half moon and um the moon is decreasing in illumination it is the point where you stop contemplate introspect reflect and reevaluate for the future because now you're um you know that um new moon will be coming up in two more cycles so you're preparing yourself for that as well so this is where you give thanks as well for your accomplishments and you purge any lingering negative thoughts and energy for good in preparation for another beginning. This will allow you to focus and have a higher universal perspective. Now, when I say you um, purge any lingering negative thoughts and energy for good, know that, like I said, in each level that you attain, you are always going to be purging things that are, no, that are not beneficial or that are actually opposite that particular energy. Okay? Um, this will allow you to focus, like I said, to have a higher universal perspective. This also allows creativity and growth for the next stage of goals and new intentions. Now, that last cycle is the, um, their A cycle, and it's the waning crescent. And at this phase, the moon par um, is partly illuminated, um, less than one half, and decreasing into the light is completely gone and formation of new moon. Um, it is the end of the old cycle, the start of approaching new one. So that's why on the seventh cycle as well, you are purging things because the A cycle is the last cycle before you go into the new moon and you set your new attentions. Okay? This is a time for you to detach from the world and to rest yourself and to create your new intentions. So this is a, the perfect time to take some alone time and to make time for yourself. Um, it is also a time to prepare for the start of a new beginning. That is why you need to take the alone time because you are preparing yourself for the new moon. You're preparing yourself to, sh <clears throat> excuse me, to shed your skin and you're preparing yourself to start anew, to become anew, all right? So I really uh, want to appreciate you guys for listening to this video. And um, if you are definitely feeling the vibrations, go ahead and hit like on this video. And go ahead as well as subscribe to my channel, Knowledge Butterfly. As well as my loves, you can follow me on my Instagram, which is Knowledge Butterfly. And my Facebook page, which is Knowledge Butterfly at Empress Rostar. So as always, I want to send you guys our love into the ether. It's coming straight from my heart chakra 
all the way out into the the um universal network which is the true world wide web which is a universal wide web i love you guys so much peace